One aspect of my life I've always been quite crap at is sleeping. It's not getting any better as I'm getting older. So after a few disastrous nights, my body finally gave in this afternoon and I crashed for like four hours. Well, the problem is, I can't sleep now. <laughs> it is quarter past 12 Sunday morning, Saturday morning, sorry. And I decided to come out for a walk instead of sat at home watching Netflix, doing online gaming. So I'm going to walk up to the Lickies, which is Bant Green, which is a good few hours walk. Sun ups in about five hours. And I'm hoping to be on the top, on the Licky Beacon, sit there and watch the sun come up. I probably can do it in the time I have. I'm not rushing. It's a nice warm night. Down to my fleece, sleeves rolled up. Got the little rucksack today, it's quite nice not to have the beast on. I'm going to have to cross over, yeah. As I remember the pass on the other side. And this is where the road gets really dark. There is zero moon tonight. Cloud cover's taken that little bit of light away. And I can barely see what I'm walking on. There is an option here to get onto the canal, which sort of cuts a bit out. But I can't see what I'm walking on here, so I'm not going to trudge up a canal. Oh, there's a car. Show me the path. Ah, got it. <laughs> Kept drifting off into the hedgerow. Yeah, like I was saying, there is an option to get on the canal, but I'm not walking up there if I can't see a thing. It doesn't bother me at night. What bothers me is an uh, uh, unexpected dip in the canal. Which is disgusting at the best of times. So I've just come into Alf Church, but it's quite a big area, so I've got a way to walk into the centre. And it's out the other side and up towards Burnt Green, which is a bit of a windy road. But it's a bit better lit than this one, thankfully. This may sound like an obvious statement. Damn, it's dark tonight. I was hoping for a little bit of moon. Uh, I've just remembered another shortcut, which does cut out quite a bit of the main road. Uh, but it's just as dark as the first bit of road. I just had a quick sit down, have a drink, have a rest. And I was gonna have a quiet, relaxing weekend. Yep, fat chance of that. I'm doing making good time. I should get, an, you know, an hour or two sat up on the uh, Licky Hills, chilling out. Got a bit of food with me, enough water. Got two beers for party time later. Oh, it is warm though. I'm tempted to take my fleece off. But as soon as I get up the top of this hill, I know there's going to be a bit of wind. So I'll just have to put up with it. It's a beautiful night for walking. Just the right temperature. Probably about 8, 9 degrees at the moment. Not too warm. Perfect. As usual, the top of the lickies will be windy. But i got my big coat, so I'll chill out on one of the benches there. And watch the sun come up. Perfect way to start a weekend. Hopefully later I'll get some sleep as well. We shall see. So two hours of decent walking and I've made it to Burnt Green. This is the, the main street. The one main street. <laughs> now I've got to walk up through the train station. And out the other side. And it brings me to the path that takes me up to the Lickies. And here it is. 
cracking. Made good time. Going to have a nice slow walk up the hill now. I still have plenty of time to sit about and wait for the sun to come up. Perfect. So I've had to get my torch out because this path that leads up from Bant Green Train Station to the Licky Hills is permanently wet. I don't know where it comes from, but it's always wet. And I made the fatal mistake. And I ended up with this. A lovely, lovely, wet, muddy boot. And on top of that, it's a very, very light rain falling. Damn you, BBC weather. You'd forecast no rain tonight. And here I am, getting wet. It's not that bad, though. It's just a little bit. As long as it doesn't progress, we'll be okay. Oh, it's so quiet in here. It's even darker in here than it was outside. <laughs> Dear, what a night to pick walking. Anyway, I'm here now. Right, I'm going to make my way up to the visitor centre. Try not to get the other boot wet while I'm at it. I'm about a quarter mile from the visitor centre. I've just had a quick sit down. Something to eat. Still wide awake. It's not going to end well. So I was sharing my top tips for uh, walking alone at night. Number one, don't. <laughs> it's always better to be in a pair or more. Safety in numbers and all that. Number two, when you're walking, Every hundred yards or so, just stop for a couple of seconds and have a listen. Because if there's a group of people about, you'll hear them. Long before they hear you. See, parks like this. Kids need somewhere to go to drink, have sex. 99% of the time, they're no bother. But, you know, over the years I've had run-ins. It's never really come to anything, but... You do get the, uh, the odd group of aggressive drunks sometimes. Number three, get yourself a torch. Sounds obvious. But not just any old torch. Get yourself a metal mag light. At least a 3D cell. It's got a nice bit of weight behind it. Because whatever the original design for the torch was. It makes one hell of a cosh if you need it. Fortunately. Never had to use it myself. I've had to threaten somebody with it once. That was enough. And the other one is don't leave the torch on all the time. Just use it when you really, really need it. Take a quick scope of the path in front of you. Know what you're walking on and then turn it off. Leave it on all the time. It's just like a big beacon. Here I am. I mean, if somebody's really lying in wait for you, I mean, there's not a lot you can do till the last minute. But if you know what's around you, and you know where people are, my best advice is just to try and avoid them. Especially if they've had a beer or two. But it's quiet. Sounds really quiet. Then again, it's not the best night. But in the summer, this place is teeming with the uh, teenagers. I mean... Inner city parks and stuff like that, I just, pff, I wouldn't even go there.
parks, churchyards and beaches. Places I really don't like sleeping. Anyway. Well, I'm going to have to turn my torch on because I can't see what the hell I'm walking on. <laughs> this is the centre. It's nice and clear. There's evidence of at least one late night party here. Plenty of uh, empty beer bottles. I know you can't see it, but there's loads of uh, picnic tables here. On a nice flat surface. And that's why people come up here late at night. Temperatures dropped, obviously, because altitude. I've had to break out the big coat. I've had a bit of a sit down, just a bit of a chill out, enjoying the solitude as usual. Now I'm going to get myself together and walk over to the beacon, which is about half an hour. Now I've tried wild camping up here before and it's a nightmare. There's always people over the beacon because there's a car park there and I dread to think what was going on. <laughs> if you know what I'm on about. So I'm going to go over there, find myself a nice little corner with a bench away from the car park and uh, sit down, chill out. Get some music on, get a beer in me. Try to plan some sleep eventually. I love it when things come together. It's quarter to four in the morning. I finally made it to the Licky Point. That's Birmingham over there. That way is Malvern Hills, which is about 25 miles and Redditch is sort of over there ish. So I've had a quick scoot around and I firmly believe that I'm on my own. There's some non human life form rooting around in the woods over there. Could be a fox. I've seen them up here before. They are now closing the car park at night, from what I can tell, which is probably a good idea. The rain has stopped. It's not as windy as I thought it was, and my muddy boot has finally dried out on me. But I'm still wide awake. to about 8, 9 in my present state. I'd rather do that in my bed today. So I got about 2 hours 45 minutes till my train. So let's work this out. Quarter to 4, left to half 11. So 4 hours 15 minutes walking. And it's about 10 minutes on the train. <laughs> Thank God for trains. It's 25 to 5 in the morning. And the first hint that that big ball of fire is coming over the horizon is there. The cloud cover is going to delay it a little bit this morning. But boy, I'm, I'm waiting for that sun to come up because even out of the wind, it's cold up, yeah. I found a nice spot, pretty sheltered. But that nice, warm, sunny glow, when it pops, I finally pops over the horizon, will be most welcome. I've had some music on. Put me two beers in me belly. And I'm 
feeling much better. Lost count the times I watched the sun come up. Still love it every time. It's now five o'clock in the morning. That's actually quite a nice sunrise. Birds have kicked off. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Shut up. <laughs> I can see my feet now without the aid of a torch. Wind's still there, but the temperature's kicked up just a notch, which makes it a little bit more bearable. The dawn's definitely on its way. I was thinking maybe I'm missing a trick here. Perhaps I should start some um, insomniac, you know, uh, all night walking tours. I wonder how many takers I'd get. I can't be on my own. There must be other sad souls like me <laughs> who pace in the house all night, keeping their relatives up. It's going to take me maybe half an hour to get down to the train station, so I've got an hour. So, back to the music. Hopefully, it'll warm up a bit more. Shut up, birds! I'm trying to make a video! <laughs> This is what the top of the Lickies looks like in the daylight. I've been sheltering behind there because it's been out of the wind. Now it's time for me to go. Because if I want to be a functioning human anytime today, I'm going to need at least a few hours sleep. Still cold. If that wind would go away, it would be beautiful. Down out of here in about 10 minutes. I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna make my way down to the train station, get a train home, nice cup of coffee, and then for God's sake, please, dear, let me sleep. <laughs> Just once, let me sleep. I can take a shortcut down now, which is down there, which I won't take in the dark because I don't know it that well and it's a bit gnarly and a bit boggy. It does save me a bit of a walk in. So. Yeah. That was a decent walk. Needed that. Ah, uh, it's time to go. Ah, uh, I don't want to go. Ah. Uh, oh, sorry, I gotta go. The bluebells are out in force. One of the two things this wood has in abundance. The other is wabbits. Seen loads this morning. Those cute little white tails as they run away from you. I'm sorry, but it just makes me hungry. I do apologize to all you vegetarians out there. They seem quite tame around you as well. They, I mean, usually you don't get to see them. They're off at the first uh, sound of your footfalls. <clears throat> I have to get back to Wales soon. Somewhere I can make an open fire and cook some proper meat. Five minutes from the train station. Sun's come up. Brilliantly now, it's going to be a cracking day. I'm going to get a few hours sleep and then I'm going to enjoy the rest of it. Massive amount of dicking about in the woods, wandering off, looking at things and just generally being nosy. <laughs> Means I've missed my train, the one I was aiming for. I don't know when the next one is, but I don't think it's too late. 
they're pretty frequent even this time in the morning on a Saturday at least forget Sunday that's never happening so I'm gonna wind this video up now and hopefully I won't fall asleep on the train and end up end up back in Birmingham it's happened before <laughs> not today though <laughs>